But when you're ready to like poke another competitor, ram them, sink them, it's like, yay. <laughs> We're the only floating restaurant. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Okay guys, we got the last one here, Ryan the Last Dragon. We did the first two that the Legos produced of three, and that was the small heart, the large heart, and now we got the Boonster. He's got his own boat. He's going fishing. So first of all, you can see it's for ages six and older, and there's a serial number for the title. You can see down below, Boone's Boat, and that's 43185, and it's a total of 247 pieces, so it shouldn't take us long. I don't want to have an A-Dad moment, but on the boat, they have a little Mrs. Teapot from another Disney show. But in the comments, what show you think that is? And if you missed it, then you want to watch our big heart video because we we reveal the secret behind that little teapot. You can see Sisu the dragon in her human form, and you got Boone on the back steering away. Hey, you know what? The Droon pushed the Boon into the lagoon. You like that? That didn't cost you a thing. So there's the dock, and look, one of the monkeys is out there. He looks sad. I mean, if you left me out in the dock where the Droon can come and get me, hey, I'd be sad too. And then you got the kayak with one of the other Ongi's monkeys. And so what's cool about this, guys, is quick, what are the name of the monkeys? You can see right here on the side of the box, the Legos, they finally give it to us. Uka, Pan, Dian, or Dian, Dian to say his name right, Boone and Sisu, the human form, and then there's the actual size. And then there's nothing on the other sides on the box here, so we'll just go straight to the back of the box. A little bit more detail there. Then you got a small boat with the three Onguses in, they call it a dinghy. So they're in their little dinghy boat, or a kayak. Three little monkeys jumping on the boat. One fell off and hit his, it couldn't be head, he had to do a belly flop on the water. <laughs> Now there's only two monkeys on the boat. No more monkeys jumping on the boat. It's pretty cool because you got the Banana Republic flag. <laughs> I don't know where I come up with these things, but it's pretty fun. Hey, there's the big boat. You got Boone, who's actually steering the boat. And he's got the shrimp flag. That's pretty cool. I like Bubba Gump. I like shrimp. I like boiled shrimp, sauteed shrimp. And he's got a fish in his hand. Oh, and there, look, there's Sisu in her human form. And then off to the side on the dock, you got the three Ongi's monkeys again. It has a little chest, and in the chest, it's a star. And Ongi's sitting on the chest, a little teapot there. You got the map of the five lands. It's actually stored down below. Oh, and look, to open it, they made some nice little preparations here with the fingers saying, poke here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a little bit of it's just a tear. It's a terrible thing to do. Hey! Oh, stickers! The stickers are my favorite part because it brings a lot of color or more color, more definition to our Legos. Oh, look, there's the kayak. Either that or it looks like one of those shoes in Switzerland. To those shoes, those little clogs there. I'm having a made dad moment. So cool, we got a total of two bags. One, two. And then we got our book and then the two bags and what each one's going to be building. So the first bag that we're going to do is building part of the boat, people together, the monkeys, the humans. And then bag two is going to be completing the boat. And you know what? That looks like a big, huge shrimp on top of the boat. Just, you see that flag right there, the shrimp right there? And you look up at the top here, he's got his little like little antennas. I mean, does that kind of look like a shrimp there? Man, that's some big shrimp that he caught. <laughs> that's a crawdad. That's what they call him down in Louisiana. So guys, we're just gonna go ahead and start and put this together. Let's open up bag one. Oh, more bags, okay. Why don't we just put like all these in one bag? Because of all the different countries that assemble them all over. So no one country can go, aha, we can go ahead and copy this and build them ourselves. And so it's like one country produces this bag, another country produces that bag. Then Lego brings them all together. Anyways, that's what I'm thinking. So no country can say, hey, we got all the pieces. Let's just produce it ourselves. You know, the copyright thing. I don't know. I'll just roll with it. Well, we just try to color categorize this. And then after we color categorize it, we broke it down into another category of similar pieces together. So it's easier for me to go ahead and pick them up and build them together as fast as I can. Let's go ahead and start with Yisu. She's a happy girl. Oh, she needs her mop on the top. Yeah, okay. Well, didn't go all the way up, but she looks all right with a little bit of hair covering her eye. Hey, there's our Daniel Boone, king of the wild frontier. No, that's Davy Crockett. But he had a partner called Daniel Boone. Maybe that's his last name. His first name's Daniel. Oh, and then we got the little monkeys, the Ongies. That's what's funny about this dude. What is it, Dian? He's got some sort of like branch growing out of the top of his head. <laughs> I don't know what he eats, but it's growing out of there. Okay, now for the boat. Oh, sticker time, guys. Okay, we're gonna do the Banana Republic. It's these stickers right there. Super nice. I like bananas. I put the flag on the pole. Set sail for Banana Island. <laughs> Actually, he's got a huge banana there. Uh, the banana's huger than him. I mean, that's gotta be a very filling banana. And we got his paddle and little stick that he can hold on to. <laughs> 
you can still paddle. And how do the Ongis get around in this thing? They have no mechanism to paddle with. They're just floating out to sea. Bye-bye, Ongis. There we go. Out to sea. He's going wherever the wind or the current takes him. Next, guys, we're going to go ahead and build the dock or the place where Boone docks to, the Boone dock. Oh, and guys, look, I'm ready to defend the kingdom with everybody. Right? I met everybody along the way who's helping her, man. She went from one land to another, just picking up refugees as she went that's helping defend the kingdom. Look at them all. Woo! All the colors of the rainbow. Isn't that nice? Awesome. <laughs> You know what the barrel's for? A barrel of monkeys. <laughs> We're having fun like a barrel of monkeys. Yay! Do, 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 do. Little way to climb up there, guys. Super cool. <laughs> like little ladders. Yes, sticker time. Now we're going to go for the uh, smorgasbord. Whatever's hanging here, it's sticker number 18 right there. But it's gonna go in the window here. The sticker didn't go on right, guys. It's not centered. I had to use my Swiss Army knife, just a little thin blade to pull that out. Otherwise, my finger's too big and butter knife. Oh, I'm butter fingers. Okay. Cool. Perfection. Yeah! Oh, more stickers. Sweet. It looks like uh, little flags there. Nice flags, guys. In a desolate country where the drone are taking over everything, you still have to attract somebody to come to your floating smorgasbord buffet. Maybe he takes them out to Mr. Rourke's Island. Welcome to Fantasy Island. Thank you, Boone, for bringing me more guests. Ah, ha, ha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, if you get your sticker on wrong and you tear it or anything, just keep watching our video and just vicariously live through us. You guys don't realize we had to buy five of these because I keep tearing the stickers, so I had to get the stickers on right. Sticker time again. Now we're trying to show us a bowl of num-nums. Here's the bowl of num nums number eight. I don't know what's in there. It looks like hors d'oeuvres, toothpicks, and some sort of like gumbo something. <laughs> oh, it's just off a hair. Yes. Ooh, let's put that nasty thing away. Oh, it nasty. There's the flag that says it all. We're open for business. You tear the flag down when they're going to sleep at night. Are you tired? Are you lost? Are the dream getting you? Well, come over to Boone's boat, a eh, boondocky, and we will serve up anything you want. Oh, cool, sticker time. So this is gonna be some green pot for like some floaties in here. He <laughs> got some sort of floating dumplings. It's the apple dumpling gang. How does Boone create all this stuff? He's just one dude. He didn't have the Yongi's monkeys helping him out. Just one dude. That guy's very busy. That Boonster man. He knows how to whip up a bunch of gumbos and dumplings. Now, if the fish is hanging here wasn't enough that this is what you're supposed to be buying here, it actually has a sticker here that we're going to put on as a flag saying, we sell fish. Oh, satisfying snap. It looks like just a little bit of his uh, covering for the dock here. Okay, and here's the overhang. Provides a little bit of shade from the heat of the day or a little bit of shelter. Goes snap, satisfying click, and then snap, satisfying click right there. And there's our boondock right here. Okay, guys, we just uh, started working on the boat. It was uh, some pieces left over in bag one. In fact, we got some extra pieces right here. Always nice to have a few extra pieces. Oh, and also we have an extra oar. Maybe we could just, you know, have that for the little kayak. But hey, we're ready for bag two, the rest of our story. Don't forget the bags within the bags. Jeez, <laughs> oh, Parents, make sure when the kids are opening this, or if you open it for them, don't let those little flowers run away from you. Once that's off the table, you're going to have a fun time when you're turning on the vacuum. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to go and open that dust bag up. It ain't going to be the kids like, oh, gross. So you'll have to fish it out yourself. <laughs> I'm allergic to Legos. Yay, sticker time, our little uh, gazebo. And we're gonna be putting these stickers on there. They look pretty cool. Okay guys, then we got the trap door. I'll just go in there with a the satisfying snap. Oh yeah, ooh, look at that. Oh, great, how do we get it back open? Oh. <laughs> There you go, now it's open. I hope they put some love handles on there. I love to open it. And then we got, oh, it looks like we got some shrimpy stuff going on. That way, big piece of shrimp. And there's its tail, cool. Okay, we're now to sticker time again. We're gonna complete our other little pot of dumplings. And now it's time for our teapot. There's our little teapot holder. There we go. It looks like it's gonna be the secret box. This is the sticker number 13, I think, that goes on top of the red lid. God, you know, that Swiss Army knife makes it kind of nice because you can position it and not have your fingers get in the way. 
Then once it's centered, apply a little pressure, pull the knife out. Okay, it looks pretty good. That's the little shrimp box here. That's our next sticker. I don't know, with the destruction of the world, maybe they don't have currency anymore and they only trade in shrimp. That's right. With the destruction of the world, uh, CSU learned about credit. Everything's on credit, you know. Hey, the drone are taking over, you know. You still have credit? Sure, go ahead, put it on credit. I don't know, destruction of the world, I thought credit would be toast and everybody's just bartering. So there's a little box, guys. Put whatever you want in there and it looks like we're gonna put a star in there look at those little stars guys twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder where you are he captured a star it fell from heaven as it was a shooting star he just put out a shrimp and boom, got in there and bottled it up okay another sticker and this one's going to be it looks like uh maybe just a rug ah nice you got your box you got your rug you got your seat and sticker time again now we're going to go ahead and complete the other part of our gazebo and look you got one sticker that has the flags and the other one has the flags and then it's got some shrimp and it looks like some fish actually it could have been pisces it's part of the astrology sign are you a pisces there we go now we got some coverage that way any flying droon what? I mean, if you got on the ship, I mean, you don't care about the water. You just gobble everybody up on the ship or turn them to stone. Okay, guys, it's sticker time. Looks like we're building a little vegetable container crate. Take a look and you decide. We got a nice leaf. Some sort of edible leaf, I suppose. I don't know if they're berries. <laughs> plastic i wouldn't eat it okay guys there we go there's our little pile of like flowers and maybe berries and a leaf and it actually goes inside our little container a little box to hold some fresh vegetables on the back of the boat hey remember we're covering up our trap door <laughs> okay we'll see how that plays out and look he's got his little bag and one of the little stars goes inside this side pouch here and it goes right onto the side of the boat maybe it's a starfish <laughs> Go fish. And there's the flag for the shrimp boat. Budimus. Oh, we gotta have guardrails up here. Do we have enough guardrails? So that way, oh, that's pretty cool if you can climb up there and just kind of overlook, you know. Hey, look, I see drones, I see drones. Okay, sticker time, guys. Now we're adding the shell of the back of the boat here. And the stickers we're gonna be putting up on there are some uh, patches. <laughs> I thought it was actually a big crawdad or a big shrimp that he just captured and he just, hey, whenever he got hungry, he just went up and broke off a piece and gnawed on it. But no, it's just part of the boat. There you go. Uh, he's got some patching going on here. And that should go like thus. Cool. I mean, it'd be awesome if you had a little nightlight here. It's like one of those lighthouses. Oh, and look at this. There's your shrimp's buggy, bugged eyes. Look at that. Woo. Actually, and these are his antennas, so it goes the other way around. We got little feelers, kind of creepy. <laughs> It just reminds me of the part where at least the crawdads, where they break off the back, <laughs> suck up the guts inside, and then they just have the head just staring back at you like, why? Because <laughs> you were delicious. Let's go ahead and stick the head on here and then stick his back on. There we go. Cool. Maybe these are the little stingers if you try to eat them. <laughs> Zap you. Let's put the stingers on. Maybe these are his sails. Steering the wind when the wind blows right. Right turn. Or actually, you could put them down into the... Oh, they don't go all the way down to the water. Boo! Or when you're ready to, like, poke another competitor, ram them. Boom! <laughs> sink them. And it's like, yay! <laughs> We're the only one floating restaurant. Guys, that's it. We got it all done. Woo! Now we just got to put our actors in place. Like, Mr. Booney goes back so he can steer the boat. And then for speed, he needs to put his little fins down. There's racing stripes. Oh, and then we get to put Sisu and one of the monkeys here, which you can sit on the boat. She's got the map. Or remember our trap door? This is a bit tricky. It might stick a little bit, but this is the lever to pull it up. Getting in the way of... There we go. Oh. There, trap door. Go ahead and put your map in there so nobody else can see your quest map. And then drop it down. Awesome. And then the monkey's kind of like navigating. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, maybe we'll have one monkey here in the kayak, just kind of floating along, you know. And that's cool, a little boat right there. And then let's say that the uh, Dean or Diane is stuck. I mean, he's sad, he's on shore. The Droon can come and get him. He's out here, he's like, guys, bye-bye. Oh, we got plenty of food. We'll come back later and pick you up. That is, if you haven't turned to stone. Guys, we did it. Woo!
Woo, we got them all. We got the big heart and then the little heart. Remember, this was the first one we did. And you get this little heart right here. And then the big heart. And we got the characters. We've got Raya, Namari, and then the little pussy Gato. Then we got Tuk Tuk. Then we got the boat, Boone's boat. And then his dock, Boone dock. And then also his little skiff. <laughs> so pretty cool. He actually does the marketing. Come get your bananas. Come get your bananas. One, three, four, five. They like gum, man. You must come and eat. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.